Hello, Days of Lives fans. Happy 4th of July. This is for Thursday, July the 4th. Well, Justin is trying to tell Alex that, you know, if he marries Teresa, he needs to get an airtight prenup. And uh, he's a little offended by it. And he said, look, you're a wealthy man and you need to consider getting a prenup. And he said, you're suggesting she just married me for my money. Well, of course, Teresa overheard and, and she walks in and she's like, excuse me. Are y'all talking about a prenup? And <laughs> Bonnie and uh, Justin are trying to tell her, well, well, yeah, honey, it's nothing to do with you. It's just that he needs to protect his interests. And that's what Justin said. I'm the lawyer for the family. It's my responsibility to tell him, you know, what kind of things could happen. So she tells Alex, well, I think they're right. I, I, I think I should sign a prenup. I'm sick of everyone accusing me of something. And he's like, well, I trust you. And she said, do you really trust me? So she's hoping he won't want a prenup, see, but I think he's going to make her sign one. There she is talking to Brady. He's Brady's filling her in on the lacrosse camp, like military camp, as Tate says. Tate's on the phone with Holly. I got a plan, baby. And she said, oh, yeah, is it as good as the prom plan? And they had a little giggle, and so did I. So, um... His dad paid for this whole lacrosse camp, so he's trying to talk his friend Aaron into going in his place and saying he's Tate. All expenses paid, a dorm room, your food, you know, all this stuff. So Aaron says, that's great, man. I'll take it. And he shakes hands with Tate, and he said, hello, my name is Tate Black. And they laughed, and they shook hands on it. So then Tate's going to go hold up somewhere so Holly can visit him every day or every other day. I guess they're not going to run away. I don't know. That's what I got out of it. So he gets on the phone to call Holly and said, babe, I got this, I got this stuff down. And he tells her, you know, what's happening and she's excited about that. Meanwhile, Brady walks in because him and Rachel are on their way to the fireworks and they see them in the pub and he comes in and Tate's talking about it, the the camp, and Aaron said, it looks great to me, Mr. Brady, and he said, thank you, Aaron. So, um, when Holly was talking to Tate on the phone earlier, Rachel overheard her. So now, Holly has to try to bribe Rachel to keep her mouth shut, and Rachel's just like, well, what's in it for me? I thought, man, she, that kid is such a snot. She's just like Kristen. I don't like her. I don't like that kid. Well, you know, the character she plays, not the child, of course. And uh, she tells her she'll give her her perf this perfume, this expensive perfume she likes. Brady walks in and overhears her and says, what are you all talking about? And Holly was able to convince him, we were talking about perfume, my orchid proof perfume. Oh, it's actually a cologne. And uh, he seemed to fall for that. I don't know. You know, Brady's pretty stupid these days. So Maggie surprises Sarah and Xander and goes over and gives Xander a check for his share of the inheritance. And she says, I know Victor would have wanted you to have it, and I love you, and here's a check for your share. And he's told her he appreciated it and everything, but he gave it back. He said, if Victor wanted me to have it, he would have left it to me. And he said, I'm making my own money now. I'm do I've got a good job. I can't take it. Justin and uh, Bonnie are hooping it up over there with some streamers and stuff. And uh, Maggie comes back in to join them a little bit. Well, here they are at the fireworks. And uh, Alex ends up telling Brady, oh, she, she agreed to a prenup, and that really ticked her off. And then our star-crossed lovers met in the park.